Warren, I'm talking about Osier Iardamendi and Paul Ariola, key components of this team. But when you look at this RSL 11, Warren, it's about the front three and attack Arango with the support from Luna and Andres Gomez. This Memorial Day weekend match is off and running as Luna pushes it back to Zach McMath. There were still two more goals in that game for Real Salt Lake and route to a 5-3 win. Patrick Zone runs past it. Now it's carried forward here. Marco Farfan clips it a ball back post. Sam Junka tries to put it in front of goal and it's scooped up easily by Zach McMath. And this it's a dangerous game you're playing sometimes to keep playing out from the back, playing out from the back. I know it's a philosophy that's really come into the modern game in the last five, six, ten years. Here's Katranis with the ball in the area. Chicho Arango out, works to Farai, but Paz comes out for a disruption, and this ends up going out off Arango. The goal kick will be given and combined to deny him any opportunity. Here's Diego Luna. He's been picking out some really good balls tonight. It's taken by Andres Gomez. Gomez charging into the center of the park. Top of the D now for Arango. Takes one oh. touch to set himself free and ends up hitting it off the post. Another flag has come up here. The communication, don't allow it to go to feet. You've got to talk to your two center half. Fraser, just stay for a minute. I mean, they're trying to play out from the back. Oh, and it's given away to Ojeda, but Martin Paz comes out to react. Ojeda puts it in front. Here's an arriving Arango with the volley that's off targets. The FC Dallas captain looking to get on the score sheet this year, but he's going to play a nice ball. Musa, good run. Well done against Quinton. Oh. Ball is deflected and off the post. Against the run of play, FC Dallas very close to an equalizer. And There's a movement there, you know, gets one on one. And then the first foot just to have a shot, little ricochet. Then he's composed. Can he find someone on the back post? And unfortunately for him, there's no one to get around. But he's going to have to do it on his own. And it may be a ricochet. It may be a... A deflection that helps him out, but I love his movement, I love his concentration. And again. Now Pedro Musa, one touch, two touches, and then it's poked off his feet by Philip Quinton, but Musa working hard to win the ball back! He shoots him down to ground to make the save and keep it close to him. Importantly as well is Zach McMath, because you did have Ariola trying to bear down for any spill. Oh, here's a dangerous ball. Matt Crooks for Diego Luna right after the FC Dallas scoring chance. The game gets stretched. Ibiaga can't hang on to it. Diego Luna, he's got options, and he shoots at the near post and a strong palm to parry it away. Martin Paz. Nico Estevez a moment ago, he said, you know, they want to make this a tough place to play for the best teams. They've won games in the past against LAFC in Philadelphia. Here's a chance. Patrick oh, Stone, what, what a, a save. save. Oh, my goodness. McMahon down. How difficult that must be. And push it away. Not just to save it, but to push it away from the danger. Now it's curled in here by Osieri Mendy and right into the bread basket for Zach McMath. They've only conceded one from a set piece. Here's Mendy curling ball. Oh, McMath. Oh, no. What happened? A goal is what happened. Zach McMath is wondering what just occurred. Punching away from the first shot for Ariola. He thinks there's a little bit of deflection and I think he changes his mind. Yeah. He goes to punch it and then let's watch from this angle. Then he changes it. I'm going to catch it and he spills it into the back. Of the Again, with this heat, humidity, chasing the game. Now these are all questions that are going through the coach's mind. We're also on Lakes Press intensified, but it's been broken now. FC Dallas ball curled by Tomasi. Arriving run, Peter Musa. Oh, what a block. oh, and it's blocked off the line by Justin Glad. That was headed for goal. It was going to be 2 0. Layoff to Frazier. Back to Paul Ariola. Combines again with Frazier. Doesn't make clean contact. Musa does, but it's another clearance off the line. This time, I believe it's Brody. In the game. They won't keep giving you chance after chance. That's what I'm saying for him there, Musa. The first one by Glad's an excellent block. The other one is trying to be too clever. Diego Luna. Luna. Ibiaga recovers. Oh. And then the shot is saved by Martin Paz. The attackers are and scoring out, but a lot of defenders help the players out as well. They don't defend. They get caught up saying they've got to play all the time. 55th minute, darting down the edge of the Whoa. area. Slammed off the crossbar. And now tonight, that was Andres Gomez. To Martin Paz. And Paz wants to play quickly. Look how far Zach McMath oh. has come out. And he missed his kick. It's Delgado who picks it up. Patrick Zone with an empty goal to shoot out and scores. I do not believe what I am seeing tonight. Zach McMath with two crucial errors. Oh, and here's the Adamendi. He wins the ball. Won it from Ojeda to Paul Ariola. Ariola oh! scores! Oh! The floodgates have opened! You're going to score. 
And there's your main man in the middle as well. He's played his part, pops it out. And the US International just tucks it away. Now Matt Crooks over it. Matt Crooks trying to play in. Gomez, Gomez a chance. And it is a goal and it's a quick answer from Real Salt Lake. It certainly looks onside. Told us this week what makes this team different is their reactions. And how's this for a reaction? Spine, heartbeat, reliability. The cog, wasn't it? Yeah, the whole that's exactly right. But he, he hasn't played well. That's I think that's a sign of a, a good coach. And I think they pat him on the back. And it go, that's part of his education as a player. He's only been 18 months out of college. They lost to Colorado early in the season on March 9th, the last time that Real Salt Lake lost a game. Giveaway here. Peter Musa is in. He's had chances tonight, and again, another one goes begging for the Croatian striker. Who He's done one again. He's, he's mis miscontrolled the ball a couple of times, and it's bounced in his favor. You know, you were talking about Peter Musa not hitting the target a couple of times that it was on target. It was kept out once by Brody, who just had a big intervention. Oh, here's a rocket from Anderson Julio. He wow. is fantastic. It's a goal scoring substitute and he blasts one into the top corner. Well, this one will make it as well. The game, he just comes inside. They don't close him down. You could have had eight goalkeepers in there. They're never going to get on the end of that. What a strike. That's what you call top corner. Look at the angle. Look. They've gone short. McMath is scrambling back now. Here's Nelson Palacio. Time and space oh. on the ball and scores! An equalizer! Real Salt Lake! I do not believe what I saw! As cool as you like. He actually just passes that end of the back of net. As cool as a cucumber. Just... Nelson Palacio, how's that for your first major league soccer goal? One assist last year, one this year, but a goal tonight to save a point in this game for Pablo Mastroini.